and ST on the right. Who will win? We'll find out soon here at the GSL Go to S. Smoking hot six. <laughs> In the bottom right, we have our Terran player, the Game Genie Terran. He is. I am MVP. In the upper left, his rival, ranked number two in the world, he is. I am nasty. You're not nasty, you're just fine. Not you're nasty. fine because we're sponsored by Hot Six. <laughs> so, MVP, where is your first barracks going to be? Right there. That's where. No one's building barracks in their base anymore. It's not the way to do it. They don't like it. It's going out of style, man. Those Mac it's like bell bottom jeans. Maca had it right back in the beta. Mac was actually some superhuman genius. He actually came from the future. He was one of Nesty's ex experiments 20 years from now on the island of Dr. Nesty. Where he's making super nerds. He's making super nerds, man. And Maca escaped and stole Nesty's time machine and then went back in time and showed the Makarax so that someone, somewhere, could stop Nesty. And Maka knew that if Nesty stopped, Maka will never exist. But you know what? For the greater good, Tasteless, he cares about mankind and humanity because he knows that deep down, he has none. I don't know how you stay so serious when you tell me this thing. <laughs> I get into it, man. You get into it, man. Well, um, this should be a longer game. In these spots, I don't think anybody can hurt anybody else too much early on. Um, and they're a big distance apart, too. This is one of yeah, our they're, much they're very maps. far apart. That's very true. And he is going for the factory. I wonder if it's going to be a similar build to that Blue Flame build. He is going to... Oh, he's making a... Oh, no, he just blown the racks up. I was like, is he going to make another racks? Oh, my God. Okay. We, uh, oh, actually, wow. this is the first thing. Yeah. GSL uh, points, if you add them up for an ST and MVP, it's 15% of all the points. That's actually so insane. That's insane. Oh, dude, he's doing it. He's showing oh. that rush, but actually he only has uh, two Marines. So <laughs> this is this is kind of a, a little bit of a fake. Looks like he wanted um, Nesty to make a bunch of Zerglings. Yeah, that's actually exactly, that's exactly what he wanted. Exactly. Ooh, look at you. You're so quick. Thank you. I can't. I guess you don't need me anymore. <laughs> I've done my job here. I'll see you later. See you guys later, man. <laughs> All right. I gotta go find Maka. Take a picture of him. See if a paradox happens when he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, we have the command center on the way. We have the uh, second command center on the way here, and it's important to note that uh, MVP is in. A very defensive posture here. He's not yeah. making that his expansion. Yeah. He's, he knows Nesty actually every once in a while will do a very aggressive play. Yeah, it does happen from time to time. He is getting some Zerglings out. He's getting his speed, just kind of preparing for everything. He's probably going to want to take down those rocks and take his third reasonably quickly. But there's going to be Hellions out on the map. All right, the Hellions are moving out. Zerg is in pretty damn good position so far. And there's a third command, so he's doing it again. He loves three commands. He loves this. He, you know, he loves the mules. He loves getting those STDs out really quickly, and he's already ready for his next expand when it's time. I'm wondering in the future how much we'll see Terrans, or how frequently we'll see Terrans get three command centers. I think that that might I become I think it norm. might become, yeah, exactly. Four command have, centers? No, but three, maybe. It's like four, no, but five. Hey, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, four just is not the number. Two. Well, that's just too much. It's that's like, like how many wheels are on a car. Get your own idea. Jeez. <laughs> You're not original. Now, um, I think one of the big factors in, in why this is so strong to get the three command centers is that there's really no way to know uh, easily that they have a third command center. So yeah. you may be expecting a two-base timing push. There's a whole bunch of different things that can happen, and mm. instead... He's just boosting his economy. It's like he has a third base. And you know, it's actually really safe. The only time that you're going to be a little bit vulnerable is right when you are first doing it. 
because as soon as the orbital's up, a couple mules later, you have that money back and you can reinvest that. So it's it's just overall very safe as a move. Especially when you have those reactor hellions out, because then Zerglings are not going to be that effective. Yeah, and I mean, if, if they do leave their base, you at least know it's coming. And other times you can, um, you know, chisel it down to something much smaller. Now, Nest T only getting one Baneling Nest this game. His layer almost done. In fact, it's timed out with the Baneling Nest pretty well. All right, taking out the Creep Tumor. Unfortunately, he did not get the um, active Creep Tumor that can actually continue to expand the Creep. Mm. Five Vesalians there, one behind the rocks as we see in the top. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Spire on the way, so a little Lee Knockish style. Baneling speed very quickly, so Nesty is not screwing around, Tasis. He does not want to die to anything. Getting that Baneling speed oh so quickly can be great. And you know, once the Spire finishes and Mutalis step out, that's really the moment that uh, you can actually move around the map. Now he brings the Spine Crawler down here. The Hellions were never going to kill the Spine Crawler. Because by the time it's burrowed, uh, you know, it's going to be too dangerous. Yeah. But uh, it's, this is a good way to kind of push your creep out. Yeah. Push the spine crawlers with the creep. And you know what? I got to actually hand it to Leenok for this game right here that I'm seeing. Because this is very Leenok style. Not completely, but very much so. And Nesty even said, you know, he's so happy that DRG and Leenok have gotten so good. Because before it was just Nesty innovating the Zerg. No other Zerg he could learn from. But you know, at the, at the top of any race, all the players kind of look at each other and their ideas. And now, with Lee Knockout doing this type of style a lot, Nesty looks to have adapted to someone. He has a lot of Lings and a lot of Banes right now. Baneling speed almost done. And this little push coming out by MVP is not going to do anything. In fact, he might get, Nesty might get far ahead from here because he has Mutas on the way. So if, ne if MVP were to actually really commit with an attack, it would get crushed right now. All right, also note, dropping the creep, just a little side note, dropping the creep of the expansion out in the bottom center, just to make it a little bit more difficult to get that command center up. Um, get messed with the timing a little bit. Um, and... He did scan the Spire, yep. so he knows what's going on. And Engineering Bay is out. No turrets yet, just now just starting. Just one, so. yeah, the uh, expansion. So the Mutas are out, now that the Hellions no longer get map dominance. Um, so That's he's going right. to back up over here. Oh my god, he's actually, he's going for a two-base timing. Oh, sick. Oh, this is interesting to me. He's, Let's oh. see if it works. He is making oh my 24 god. Banes. That's a lot. That is a lot. And this, that, that expansion area is pretty tight. I mean, he could hit that pretty hard. There's not too much room to move around. Oh. All right, that was a very important right. move out with yeah. the Hellions. He Nest, may know Nesty's what's going on now. Nesty's hand is tip, I think. I think yep. he knows. Yeah, he's getting the second bunker. Oh, my God. This is going to be huge. There's two tanks in siege mode. How many Banelings can he target down? And he's trying to target down some Hellions, but he's going to have to go for the Bane, the tanks, actually. And, oh, my God. A he is lot of dying, in. but oh! is it actually a no? Oh, my God. Nesty. More and more Banelings coming up. And Nest T, he may have it, I Tasteless. Think, I think he may. He can remake the Bane Links. Oh! Oh, my Boom. God. 37 supply to 97. Nest T with a two-base timing attack. It was completely safe, and then it turned into a sick all-in, and it just crushed MVP. MVP was probably looking at it like I was, thinking, oh, this is just like very safe style, like Leenok, but as is, he has 19 supply to 91. Those are two opposites. Yeah, I don't think he can actually recover our doses. Below 20 supply in the space of the game, that's pretty bad. Yeah. It's like, this is amazing, man. Everyone was saying, you know, Nesty, he's, he's not in shape, he's not looking that good. I don't think he's going to make it out of this group. Uh-uh! Nesty in first place. Uh, Expect GG any second. MVP, I don't think it's actually quite set in. Flexi probably knows. Yeah, he's trying to he see knows. if he can kill three Red Marines. GG. That game ended with the Terran at four supply. And that's the thing, Artosis. When you screw with Nest oh, wow. you're Jesus. gonna get a Nest TD. I tell you what. Nest T got 99 problems, but MVP ain't one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Nest T's the first to get out. Nest the Nest TDs will continue to spread yeah. Artosis.
Some nerd to be the doctor's yep. office. Oh, my life has changed forever now. Lumbering over to say good job to MVP. He's like, oh, yeah, you tried to beat me. That didn't come close to working, huh? Well, you're bad. Dude, That's what he said, man. I can read lips. <laughs> can read lips in yeah. Korean, man. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, it's pretty sick. You know, MVP, um, he played really well in the whole series, but I think if we could go back through the, through the entire series, I think game number two was by far the biggest mistake, not just because he lost, but I think the strategy he picked in that situation, I don't think you should actually ever do that against an S-team. That's almost like a strategy where you're banking on them not picking up on information that actually is out there. It is obtainable. It's a fair, fair statement, Tasteless. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with Nesty. That was, like, kind of a tricky build because he, even though he went completely all in with, with the Mutas, if he had stopped making uh, Banelings and Zerglings just for a little bit, he could have just went into normal play like Lenok. It was yeah. very similar to Lenok style play. Because that was clearly something, something he could that have he saw. Actually, he here, could have picked up on something and gone into normal here's style. Here's a question. Because there's clearly something that he saw that triggered him to make more banlings and be like, okay, I think I'm, I could just kill him. I'm just wondering what that information was. I don't know. Uh, and I don't have it because we've got to go to commercial breaks. So we'll be back soon. Please stay tuned.